Good day, I'm Vasily, and today we are going to talk about hurricanes in the Dominican Republic. Well, um, let's discuss and let's talk about hurricane season, when it starts, when it ends. Uh, you know, in general, it's not predictable, but usually it starts kind of uh, in August, September, October. But at the same time, you know, like for nine years, we had only two hurricanes that I noticed their presence. But the, the, uh, the most dangerous one for me was like November in Ukraine. So this is the biggest reason why Punta Cana is so developed, because it has amazing geographical position. It's protected by the bay and it's protected by Puerto Rico. So unfortunately, Puerto Rico takes a hit, takes a toll when we have those kind of strong hurricanes. So, and Punta Cana is developing every single year. And for nine years, we had one solid hu hurricane. We had a couple of palms that were broken, uh, falling apart, but the main infrastructure remained solid. So when is the peak of the hurricane activity? Well, usually it's August and September. That's the top of hurricane activity, but it's a rare thing in the Dominican Republic, in Punta Cana in general. And in North Coast, North Coast is beautiful, but there is happen to be like more hurricanes than in Punta Cana, unfortunately. I like North Coast, it's uh, a bit different, the nature is different, but Punta Cana kind of more protected by natural position. And this is how our infrastructure, the best five-star hotels are being developed in East Coast. Which Caribbean island get hit the most with the hurricanes? Well, uh, taking into consideration the history of the hurricanes, Cuba suffered a lot from hurricanes. Haiti, it's a total disaster, total catastrophe. They are suffering a lot from hurricanes. The uh, Puerto Rico were like, it was affected recently really in dramatic way. And the Dominican Republic, Yes, it took a hit, but in more like central part and northern part, in south part, and fortunately, eastern east coast uh, will remain almost safe. We had some palms that were broken apart. We had some minor uh, issues with the houses, like rooftops. But in general, Punta Cana is remaining the safest place in the Dominican Republic, in the Caribbean. There are some news. Uh, about the Punta Cana and the Dominican Republic that some houses were like destroyed, but still, you know, they were flimsy and uh, not well developed. Uh, you, you can see the similar picture somewhere in Florida. By the way, Florida uh, was affected in a completely disastrous way and still they had some catastrophic events with flimsy uh, houses. Uh, but still like strong buildings they survived and everything went well hotels and villas uh, built well so that's why you are protected during even during the hurricane seasons but mo in most of the cases you know once in nine years that's what i personally had that was worth even mentioning frequently asked questions what is the rainy season in the dominican republic well, uh, usually it begins in April and go in May uh, quite low and it showers a bit uh, in August and September. But I'll tell you what, uh, the, the weather is changing, the climate is changing and everything is like is not a constant. So uh, and the Dominican Republic is very beautiful in terms of the weather and we have more than 300 sunny days. So you can imagine. And sometimes our tourists went to the uh, excursion with a private yacht. They were complaining that it's going to be like rain, cats and dogs like crazy. So it's pouring and everything. In just in one hour, it was sunny and they had a great time because we were insisting them going on the excursion and they did it and they were really really happy about that and sometimes it's raining but the advantage is that you can still swim in a warm ocean and in most of the cases it's just one hour of rain two hours of uh, sun 
one hour of rain so you can have a different experience you can still see everything you can see uh, you can enjoy the beauty of the Dominican Republic and you can travel safe and you can enjoy your experience when was the last hurricane in the Dominican Republic well uh, it's supposed to be recently um, but it was just rain and the last serious hurricane was like Irma and Maria in 2017 uh, so that that fell in the country in one month that's the one hurricane that I would mention Maria it was the strongest one from my own experience definitely um, you shouldn't go during the hurricane season in the Dominican Republic but just think about one simple fact for nine years one hurricane that worth mentioning and for me personally it's just like November in Europe